Uh, good evening and welcome to Dowlow Teaches You About the World. Uh, today we're going to be looking at three reasons why you should never ever visit Australia. So the first reason on our list is uh, the heat. Um, please watch carefully the next video as four Aussie battlers um, struggle with the heat in Australia. Let's take a look. <sighs> Fuck, it's hot. My word. Did you go for a swim? No. Why? Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? My phone's overheated. Yeah, it seems about right. I could use a fucking cold one. Yeah, mate, that's fucking probably the only thing that could save us now. Fuck me, boys. It's not cold, is it? That it isn't, Jamo. That it isn't. Yeah, fuck. Need a cold one. Fucking hell, Jamo. It's hotter than your mum out here. Yeah, nice one, Gary. Nice one, Gary. Don't worry that. As you can see from that video, um, the heat in Australia is not only fucked, but deadly as shit. Uh, so moving on to the second reason, we redirect our focus to a more inescapable and threatening danger. Of course, I'm talking about Eshays. So what is an Esho? Well, please pay attention to this next video and uh, you'll see the true nature of an Esho and why they're such a growing threat to our society. Let's take a look. Ah, nice cold beer after a long day on the tools. Fuck, I love my life. Oh, Hi, bro. Hi, bro. Hey, mate. I'm not your fucking mate, bro. Are you staying or something, lad? Uh, nah, mate. Just on the on the beers, champion. Give us your shoes, you old day. Wait, these? Hurry up, you fucking dog. Hoodles, lad. Hey? Mate, you're like a size eight. I'm a 13. What's even the point of you taking the... Where the, where the fuck are you even going to wear them? Bro, I'll wear them wherever I want, lad. Oh. Hey? oh, fuck me. If I give you one, will you just fucking fuck off? Hurry up, bro. Pass them over, lad. Oh, fuck me. Here you go. Yeah, that's all I thought you were day. Do on, lad. Nah, fuck all, bro. Just roll some tradie through shoes and that. Fucking eshays. I'll call you back, bro. Shit. What you say, lad? Um, nothing. You used to fucking drink too, bro. Aren't you like 13? Bro, I got a knife. I'll fucking shank you, lad. And I'm 14, you dog. Oh, fuck me. So I fought you all day. That's my last one, you little cunt. Yes, shays, bro. Oh, fuck, I hate my life. Hmm, how about those ashes? Now, on to the third and final reason you should never visit this country. Um, we're going to look at something that I myself have struggled with immensely throughout my time. Um, now, what I'm about to say might strike hearts in all the viewers who have come in contact with such evil. Um, the third and final reason, of course, we're talking about Bundy cans. <laughs> Another day in paradise. Uh, hi sir, you wanted to see me? Hi Bart. Yeah, no, I just wanted to let you know that you are our November employee of the month. You've been, you know, absolutely outstanding this month at work, um, just like every month. I uh, just wanted to let you know that keep, keep going um, because you'll have my job soon, the way you're going. Thanks sir, I was, uh, I'm just trying to do my best for the company. I love you more than I love my own son Bart. You truly are an angel of a man. Hi honey, um, I picked up some of your and the kids' favourite dinner for tonight. I was just feeling extra nice. Um, also, I love you. Oh Bart, how did I get so lucky to find a man as loving and gentle and kind as you? I love you. I love you more. I'll be home soon. See you darling, bye. I love my family. Bartholomew Fox, you are on trial for assaulting 28 people down Ligon Street last night, including three elderly women and five children. How do you plead? Such a sad yet familiar story. I've been your host, the Down Man, and from me and the team here, thank you and good night. We cut? Yeah, go. Wait, come here, you fucking cunt!
Hey, Scheiß, ba?